Yo, well, Snapchat, so whenever you learn something, whether that's a formal course, like a subject at university or a college, or whether you're just browsing around the internet, you notice there's definitely a distinct path that you take, a distinct track. Like, you definitely learn things in increments. You'll look up something, you'll find it, you'll learn about it, and then you might go into something else. You might follow uh, different links on a website, you might follow different resources, and eventually you get more knowledge. And because our brains are fairly primitive, we can't just learn everything all at once like an AI or a computer can. We learn in very incremental stages. Um, I mean, look at university and college. You go through first year to second year to third year and you learn more. But at the moment, learning is very much like this kind of self-organizing, scattered, chaotic thing. You know, you look up one resource and then you'll get something that piques your interest or some problem, then you go look up more resources. Something to keep in mind here is that even people like Einstein and Newton and like, you know, all the amazing, like, intelligent people alive today, they went through a similar process, a similar scattered trail of learning. Okay, here's a startup idea you can go steal now. Please run with it. Like, take this idea and run with it. Go make it, please. Okay, to begin with, you can just start off with like a Google Chrome extension. That's probably the easiest place to start. And all it would do is record everyone's web history, every website you visit. This is going to be another one of those examples where if we didn't have this stupid black and white privacy concern and people are like, oh no, you can't have my web history, all this crap, then we could do these amazing things. Because if everyone recorded their web history, what you could do is actually tease out the learning trails. So if you're learning, say, quantum mechanics, or you're learning some particular topic, it could actually tease out that trail of history. There's this amazing TED Talk, it's one of my favourite, called the, the Birth of a Word. Um, and he basically, it's this researcher who records his child for the first three years of their life and works out how they learn that word in this context. And they have these cool visualizations where they kind of show like these um, worm trails. I think they call them like, it's almost like showing something moving through time. So you could do something like that where you show this learning trail moving through time. Again, okay, a specific example, imagine little Joey is doing first year physics and she installs this Google Chrome extension which tracks all of her web history. So it will then know every resource, every website, every video she visits and its trail. Now imagine little Johnny is doing second year physics and he installed this Google Chrome extension over a year ago. So there's an entire history of his learning path um, which will be very similar to first year learning. If you have even just thousands of people doing this, doing this recording, recording their learning trails, um, there would be specific matches, not because everyone's learning trail will be unique, but there would be some similarities between them. Then what this extension can do is not only like record your history, but also kind of like watch where you go. And as you follow different paths, it can suggest based on other people's data, the next. It also becomes like an AI assisted teacher, an AI assistant kind of like personal um, tutor that kind of suggests, watches as you learn and suggests where to go next. Over time with an update, this could actually optimize your learning path and get you to a state of knowledge much faster than traditional ways. Um, and it could also identify which specific areas you have issues with and like take you out. The Google Chrome extension is probably the easiest place to start, but then obviously then you'd want um, uh, basically a smartphone app, so iOS or Android, and a desktop app, so Mac or Windows, and you just install that one. These apps would provide all of that, but they not only record your web history, but your entire screen. So everything, that, everything you see on your smartphone and everything you see on your desktop. With screen recording, what you can then do is actually play back people's learning paths, like the actual things they did, the actual steps, the places they clicked, the information they saw, what they typed. This would be absolutely fantastic for programming. Um, I mean, the best resource there is now is Stack Overflow, but you constantly, I find myself constantly Googling and trying to find the correct answer, trying to fix this problem. Because obviously most people, when they program, they're programming in like a text editor, um, like I use Adam, and obviously <laughs> there's, um, you know, Google Chrome extension is not going to pick that up. But if you screen record the entire thing, you and as it's screen recording, it's uploading to the, the, the servers, to the cloud, and then running OCR. So it's actually pulling out the text that you're writing on the screen, the actual code you're writing, and then adding that code to your trail, and then matching it with other people's trails. So we can almost instantly recognize that the coding problem you're facing right now, someone else has faced it, here's how they it. Then directly on your computer, you can instantly just click on a little suggested item, which shows up a, a full like you know video of that person from maybe five years ago solving that problem step by step. And then of course the ultimate end game of that is that having everyone wearing augmented reality glasses or contact lenses or implants that are constantly recording video and constantly capturing everything you see, all inputs and outputs into your brain. But just starting with a Google Chrome extension, you can actually just over time gradually get to that end game where you basically, you're creating a super intelligent hive mind, a collective artificial intelligence. Because you're, you're capturing their learning trails in real time and you're also capturing them solving problems using their skill sets, then you're using all that as a collective resource for any, all of humanity to tap into. This system could become so powerful that you actually like um, replace the need for formal education and formal learning, um, which is, is clearly too slow to keep up with the pace of technology. For example, rather than doing a four-year university or, or college degree, and like by the time you get a job, or most of that information is irrelevant, this is like a global peer-to-peer -peer hive mind that actually teaches you very incrementally while you work. Learning and education would no longer be this separate thing that you go and do for a couple of years or a separate course you do. It would be very integral and in line with everyone's daily activities. You'd learn every day. And just like on a CPU, when you actually have more transistors, when you can fit more transistors on them, you can pack them closer together so they can communicate faster and the whole CPU speeds up. 
by speeding up human learning and actually connecting problems to solutions much closer together so they, they are solved much faster. The emergent phenomenon of that is you overclock the human species. We produce much more output. A project like this would add so much value to humanity, but like so many of my ideas, we have to get over this irrational privacy concern. Um, so how do we get people to share their web history? That's the very first step. Snappy thoughts. I have future.